and I've pre-tinned it and I bent it at a small angle so it'll match up with my circuit board and I've pre-tinned the outer shielding. Now the hole in the side of this box was too small so while I was off camera preparing this I had to um, use my drill to make the hole a little bit wider. So see how that fits directly on that, that nice snug little signal wire and because it's pre-tinned all I've got to do is take my iron, tack it on, there you go, there's the signal. Then you go and take some solder, every day I'm solder, and because it's the, the uh, coax is pre-tinned, that'll stick nicely. And there's your shield. That's it. Now you've just modded that with an, uh, however long length of LMR, 195 cable, which you can either directly solder into an antenna or terminate with a connector, which is what I'm going to do. Now it's just a matter of putting the RF box back on. Uh, me, personally, I found that leaving the, um, the RF box top plate not soldered down has absolutely no effect on the performance of the scanner. So, you can just push that down. And, yeah, I'm lazy. I don't want to put it on all the way. Just, whatever. There, there we go. It's on. Shut up. Go away. I'll give you a quick rundown on how to crimp stuff. The first thing you have to do is put on this little tubey thing. This is called the crimp collar. Second thing you have to do is you have to peel back this outer insulation to the, uh, to the length of your connector. Then you have to fold back all of your, um, your shield. This right here is called your dielectric. It's carved in some aluminum foil, so when you cut this, so you can put on the, uh, the center conductor pin, like so. Um, make sure that they're not grounded, make sure they're not touching, so visual inspection of that. Um, what I like to do is I like to cut this back and then try to make, and make sure that the, the center pin fits. Then I pre-tin this with a little bit of solder, and then just like so, There you go, and you get that soldered on. Now make sure you don't have any solder spikes around that. You might have to go and take a file or some desoldering braid to clean that up. There we go. Good as I care to get it. Okay. So we got the crimping collar on, we pulled the shielding back, we exposed some of the dielectric, and we trimmed back some of it so we can crimp or solder on our center conductor. Then we take our, our jack, and we cram it on, make sure it's in there nice and good. We fold our shielding back up and over, like so. We take our crimping collar, put it around like so. Now would be a good time to take a razor blade and trim all of this off, but time's sake, I'm just going to go and take, oh, there we go, our crimpers. We're going to put this in the proper slot. And we are going to give it a squeeze. There we go, crimped on. Now it's just a matter of taking your mounting hardware that came with it and mounting this to whatever uh, box you want. There you go. Now this process of modding gear will apply for practically anything and later on we'll get into different devices like USB sticks and PCMCI cards and whatnot but that's it.